guys. If you want to start detailing steel in advanced steel, this tutorial is for you. In few videos, I will show you how to make a complete project from start to finish. I will show you entire procedure from setting up a new project to making a final set of drawings and also how to make revisions to your project. We will be making all of this based on maintenance steel platform for Chicago Transit Authority. In this video, I will show you how to make custom clip angle connection. This is not a standard advanced steel project, but because of that, I have decided to share it with you. Once you get the idea how to detail this platform, making any other project will appear super easy. Stick around and check out other videos in this playlist. Consider subscribing, don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified instantly whenever I upload a new video. The project file is available on my website for free, link in the description below. If you need to buy advanced steel software, check out my link below to get a nice discount. We are going to create a custom clip angle connection as shown in the drawing detail from the structural engineer. We will use L 8 by 6 angle. Because the bolt pattern on one side is two vertical bolts and on the other side it is two horizontal bolts, we need to make it as a custom connection. Standard clip connection has this option unavailable. First, download the free project file, a link is available in the description below. Unzip and open an advanced steel. I have already created two levels where the new angles will be attached to. I call them level A and level B. Go to work planes and specify the bottom of the angle to attach to level A and the top of the column to level B. Now, go to top view. Select make column icon on the ribbon and click anywhere in the drawing field. We will be adjusting the position of this angle, so you don't want to be anywhere close to existing elements to avoid advanced steel automatically connect to existing members. Now, in the dialog box choose a proper section. First, choose angle. Then not identical, and then look for L8 by 6 by half of an inch. Now, go to the positioning section. Let's set an offset in the corner. Now let's rotate this angle into a position. Once you are done, close the dialog box. Now, let's adjust the position of our angle. Let's align the face of an angle with the face of the web of the beam. First, let's lock our UCS to the view. Then go to modify and click on the move icon and select our angle. By dragging a corner of an angle, align it with the horizontal angle and then move it to the web of the beam. Now, mirror this angle and move it to align with the other side of the horizontal angle. Select both angles we just created. Mirror them by using a midpoint of the horizontal angle to the other end of this angle. Our horizontal angle has a double clip angle connection in place. Select all four angles we just created and mirror them to the other horizontal angle in this assembly. Now, 
Now, select all 8 clip angle members and copy them to the other assembly. You can see in 3D view that all clip angles were created and placed in correct spots. The only thing is left, we need to create correct bolted connections for all our custom clip angles. Check out the bolted connections tutorial to see how it is done. I hope you like this tutorial, if yes leave me a comment below. Subscribe and click the bell icon to not miss any tutorial I am going to upload.